The B-2 bomber is over 30 years old and is still one of the most feared aircraft in the world. You've probably seen videos or at least heard of this awe-inspiring work of engineering at some point. But what's so special about this old plane anyway, and why does it continue to strike fear in America's enemies and pride in military supporters? In today's video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the military's most powerful aircraft, the B-2 bomber. What is the B-2 bomber? Officially called the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, the B-2 bomber is an American heavy strategic stealth bomber designed for penetrating aerial defense perimeters and delivering a massively destructive payload. This unique piece of equipment was first designed during the Cold War to penetrate the Soviet Union's defenses. It remains the only stealth configured aircraft capable of carrying a large air-to-surface standoff weaponry. The Soviet Union collapsed and it was never necessary for the B-2 to drop nuclear weapons into their territory. But the U.S. has still managed to find plenty of uses for this high-class machine. The B-2 was first deployed to Guam in 1998 and later made its combat debut in the Kosovo War in 1999. It has since been deployed in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya. The B-2 bomber is first and foremost a stealth aircraft, and practically every piece of it has been designed with this in mind. At a glance, you may notice the peculiar shape of the aircraft. It's exceptionally wider than it is long, coming in at 52 meters wide at the wingspan and only 21 meters long from nose to tail. The extremely unique shape helps the B-2 bomber remain extremely difficult to detect by traditional radar means. A radar cross-section defines how detectable something is by radar. The smaller the cross-section, the less detectable the craft is. The B-2's cross-section is a mere 0.1 square meters. By comparison, more traditional planes and cargo aircraft can measure up to 100 square meters. The thin, low-drag wind configuration does more than just make the craft hard to pick up on radar. This design aids the B-2 in flying extremely long distances. The craft can travel a total of 11,000 kilometers on a full tank. Best of all, it's been engineered to be able to refuel in flight. That sleek black color serves an obvious purpose of reducing visibility, but there's more to the exterior materials than meets the eye. A carbon graphite composite material helps reduce the plane's visibility by absorbing radar beams and reducing the machine's infrared signature overall. These high-tech composites are also extremely durable and flexible. Thanks to this, the wings are able to flex more easily than the rigid wings of a commercial aircraft, giving this plane enhanced maneuverability and heightened efficiency. The engineered composites have been carefully crafted to have longer lifespans than traditional metals like steel. Radar is no longer the only way a country goes about monitoring the skies, though. Many countries have turned to other means of detection, including infrared scanners. The engines of the plane and the plane itself obviously heat up during flight, but the engineers behind the B-2 place these engines deep in the belly of the fuselage so as to minimize this detectable heat signature. The B-2 is designed to be flown by a pair of pilots who effectively take turns piloting the craft on long missions. It's equipped with an autopilot, like many planes, to maintain altitude. But when flying at Mach 0.95, just under the speed of sound, you definitely want to keep your hands on the controls. The plane isn't designed around a traditional GPS. Instead, it relies on a complex array of imaging equipment that pilots can use to inform their location. The decision was made to minimize the possibilities of technical failure. Additionally, it was feared that the GPS may be easy to pinpoint and thus eliminate the stealth part of this stealth aircraft. What sort of weapons does the B-2 carry? It's sleek, it's fast, and it's stealthy, but let's not forget that it's also deadly. The aircraft was designed, after all, to deliver high-powered weaponry into target countries. So, what exactly is the bird ready to bring? 
The B-2 is equipped with two internal weapons bays that have official limits of 18 tons. Experts have suggested that the machine could carry more than that if it needed to. There are many possible weapons this plane could drop, including 80 500-pound class bombs, 36 750-pound class bombs, 16 2,000-pound class bombs, and 16 nuclear bombs such as the B-61 or B-83. The B-2 was updated in the late 2000s to carry massive ordnance penetrator weapons, or MOPs. These are carefully designed massive weapons that are targeted at underground bunkers. It carries 5,300 pounds of explosives and can decimate underground hideouts. At the time, the B-2 was the only aircraft compatible with these MOPs. As stated earlier, the B-2 was originally designed to deliver strategic nuclear strikes into the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Thankfully, that never became necessary. The military quickly pivoted and arranged for the B-2 to carry the diverse payload that we've talked about today. How much does everything around a B-2 cost? Now, you may be thinking this all sounds rather impressive, and it also sounds rather expensive. And on that note, you would be absolutely correct. The B-2 bomber is among one of the most expensive military designs ever created. The aircraft itself cost $737 million in 1997 to manufacture. Adjusted for inflation, that comes out to be approximately $1.2 billion now. And that's simply the sum of building the plane. The cost of designing, testing, and maintaining them is even higher. Originally, the United States was committed to a fleet of 132 B-2 bombers, though the number was quickly reduced to 75. Once the Soviet Union collapsed in the early 1990s, the number was further reduced to 20 aircraft. However, during the Clinton administration, it was decided that a prototype would be reconfigured into a fully operational B-2, bringing the total fleet to 21 bombers. In September of 1997, it was reported that each hour of flight time in a B-2 required 119 hours of maintenance in return. For comparison's sake, other bombers like the B-52 and the B-1B require 53 and 60 hours of maintenance, respectively, for each hour of flight. A tremendous piece of the cost has to do with acquiring appropriate space for the plane's unique wingspan and controlling the climate of the workspace to better protect the plane's protective coatings. The total program cost projected through 2004 was $44.75 billion in 1997 dollars. This includes development, procurement, facilities, construction, and spare parts. The total program cost averaged $2.13 billion per aircraft. Seems like an awful lot of money to fly this plane for an hour. Not so secret anymore. While we all know about the B-2 bomber now, the military went to great lengths to keep the development a secret at the time. Fake companies were established for procuring materials, and engineers were made to dress in fake uniforms to maintain the utmost secrecy. Routine lie detector tests were administered to ensure that nobody was leaking sensitive information to possible spies and adversaries. Given the web of spies and espionage running all over the place during the height of the Cold War, it's easy to understand why this was taken so seriously. High-tech stealth aircraft like these are often cited by folks looking to debunk UFO conspiracy theorists. But who can blame them? If you saw something like this jetting across the sky and had never heard of it before, you'd probably think it was an alien spacecraft too. Life inside the B-2 bomber. Inside the B-2 bomber, it's what you might call snug. There's just enough room in the cockpit for the two pilot seats, a small aisle, and a toilet. That's right, the toilet bowl is comfortably tucked right behind the pilot seat for those long-haul flights. A small mattress can be laid out on the floor for one pilot to catch some sleep. The pair have to carry non-perishable food rations for these longer journeys since they don't have access to any food storage options. Technically, these bombers and pilots could be in the air indefinitely thanks to the aerial refueling capabilities. One of the longest known flights took 34 hours. 
Two bombers were tasked with flying from Missouri to Libya and back without stopping and were refueled in the air 15 times. Can you imagine a day and a half on a plane? And that's on a plane far from the luxurious amenities of first class. Stateside, you may witness B-52s being flown over stadiums before football games or as part of Air Force demonstrations. While it's definitely impressive, there's also something extremely ominous about a giant stealth bomber passing over your favorite team's stadium just before kickoff. What do you think about the B-2 bomber? Is it a piece of a bygone era or is it going to stand the test of time? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to check back for more tech news.